What's up everyone? This is gonna be our final video from the island of Aruba. We have two more days here, but today is gonna be our final day doing something like travel wise. And we're gonna be heading to an all-inclusive island called De Palm Island. We've been to all-inclusive hotels before, but we've never been to an all-inclusive island. So it's gonna be a bit of a different experience for us. There's two islands that do this uh, around Aruba, I think. One's called Renaissance, and yeah, this other one is called uh, De Palm Island. And it's $109 per person, and that includes uh, meals. Does it include snorkels? Yeah, snorkels, drinks, and also some, some activities like uh, uh, banana bowls and some other stuff we need to see when we get there. Yeah, and sunbeds and stuff. So we just got a van now for $3 per person to drop us near the ferry terminal. Well, we still got to walk like 15 minutes and then we'll arrive at the ferry terminal where we'll be leaving. So here you'll be able to see how close the island is. So we're about to get on this boat and the island's just literally there. Looks like, I don't know, a minute or two to get there. Super close. Hello, one beer. So this is De Palm Island. So we just have like the basic chairs included. You can upgrade and get some fancy ones. So we can just choose whichever we want. And the email said to get here by 11 o'clock, but we're actually here on the island already at 10.38. And there's already loads of people here. So I'm guessing there were earlier boats then. Here you go, madam. Thank you. Chris at your service. I'm being pampered. Enjoy your stay on the island. Thank you. See you later. So time to check out the Chilean flamingos. I didn't know they were from Chile. Everybody wants to see the flamingos. Yeah. So the area with the flamingos is also a beach, but I think you have to pay to stay in these shacks. So kind of like a private beach. Looks like there's about 10 of them, 10 flamingos. So what I didn't know is that flamingos are actually born like white or grey, they're feathers. And then I think after like four or five years they start to turn a bit more pink. And it's from something that they eat like algae or something. I'll write down the exact explanation but yeah they're not born pink, I never knew that. So like this one's pretty pink but some of the other ones you can definitely see they look a bit wider. Another cool thing about this island, we have a big water slide here. Ready to go on some water slides, Carol? Yeah. I don't think we've ever done this on the channel. Oh. And even like, I've, I've never done it in like, I don't know, 10 years or something. Yeah, I don't think like I've done time, it. I think it was like kids or something, so it's gonna be fun. Time to be kids again. Yeah. Let's do it. So 
you can see the island actually continues on but that's not part of the resort out there resorts all on this side next activity of the day is gonna be a banana boat something else that we haven't done since today forever is yeah <laughs> today is the day that we're kids again yeah so some of the upgrades that you can do are these private beach cabanas that we saw on the flamingo beach yeah I think this is other ones they do look pretty fancy and you can also do snoober which is some sort of snorkeling I don't know oh but they give you like a thing like with diving so you can breathe underwater. Snoober, I've never heard of that. And over here, Sea Trek underwater helmet walk. That seems pretty cool. Pretty sure it'll be expensive, but yeah, that's something different as well. All right, off we go. restaurant buffet area loads of food huge selection so I got some fish some veggies here a bit of cheese as well mashed potatoes and some rice you got pretty much the same, right? Just some pasta. Yeah, some pasta and some mixed vegetables. Okay, and soup. What soup's that? Potato and leek soup. Potato and leek soup. Yeah, we can keep getting more food. All the food we want, right? I'll probably get some dessert. And you get an awesome view here. Water is beautiful all the way around the island. It's actually a lot emptier than I was expecting because it's uh, Saturday as well, so I thought it was just going to get packed. But yeah, not that many more people have come since uh, since we arrived. Yeah, even here now it's pretty much empty and it's lunchtime. Even the majority of the island's just not that busy at all. Pretty cool. So for dessert, I just got some fruit, watermelon and papaya and some cake here. You get pretty much the same. Yeah. Oh, you got chocolate cake though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm stuffed.
so now we're gonna do some snorkeling here. I guess this is that snooper gear. No idea what this is. So they also gave us these inflatable life vests. I think you gotta use it, right? Yeah. I think you just blow on that thing there. <laughs> Looks like good mess as well. You can get flippers too if you want, but we're not gonna bother. Water clarity is definitely gonna be good though, look at that. Turns out there's a third slide, an even higher one, like a floor higher than the two that we did before. So yeah, it's just open now. <laughs> Let's see how that one is. Got some fries, getting our money's worth on this trip. Time to finally relax. Yeah, after <laughs> so many adventures. <laughs> yeah, we've just been doing activity after yeah, activity. All the time. But yeah. now we're gonna chill for a while. Yeah, for a while. So the majority of people have left. They've left the island, so nobody really here now, just that family over there. It's about 3.40 and I think the last boat back is five, so yeah, I think we're probably going to stay until the end, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's our last day in Aruba as well, so make the most of it. And because we paid um, yeah, quite a bit to be here, so you might as well stay the full duration. What do you think your favourite part was? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Oh, maybe the snorkeling, because it was like so impressive, so many, so many fish and also the like, big ones. I think it was the best snorkeling we've done in, I don't know, ages. Yeah, there was, was loads of fish. So many fish and big ones. The, prob the problem is since we had the life jacket on, we couldn't go down near yeah. them. Mm -hmm. But it was nice anyway. Yeah, but of course I enjoyed the water slide and also the banana boat. I've been wanting to do banana boat for a while and finally did it. Yeah. Yeah, for me the slide was the most fun. <laughs> Even without recording, I've probably been on it about like 10, 11 times in total. I'll probably go again before we leave. Getting kind of dizzy now though. <laughs> Cal thought the top one was terrifying. Yeah, it was not like, I couldn't enjoy it. Like the water was going in, on my, in my eyes and I, I just couldn't enjoy it. It's like a vertical drop at the yeah, start. Yeah, it feels too crazy. Yeah, high speed. <laughs>
Yeah, definitely gonna miss the Caribbean, that's for sure. Especially the Caribbean waters, always the perfect temperature. And we've just loved the uh, two weeks in Curaçao and Aruba. Definitely recommend visiting both because they're very different. So two completely different travel experiences. I'd say like Aruba is the more fun island. The islands have fun, do like adventurous stuff, visit places like this. And uh, Curaçao is more like the chill, laid back island. So yeah, we kind of like chilled the first week. Still was able to chill here, but overall the vibe is like a yeah more adventurous vibe i guess more fun vibe so two amazing places it's definitely worth visiting So in two days from now, we're gonna be heading to Brazil. Tomorrow, we're still gonna be here, but we're just gonna be resting. And we also have to do a PCR test to go to Brazil. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. And yeah, no more filming from here. How does it feel to finally be going back home? I'm so excited. Like for the last week, I've been talking to my family and they're also very excited and they're planning many things to do with, with us. And yeah, I'm just excited to see because it's been like two years. Yeah, because of COVID, we've never been back in two years and usually we would visit once every year. We've been holding off because Brazil has just been doing bad with COVID, but we finally had to make the decision to go. And I'm also excited to show like some beautiful places of Brazil in our channel because I think we've only visited Rio de Janeiro, but now we want to visit other places, so we're excited to show those places to you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're probably gonna be there for a while. It definitely won't be less than two months, so... Yeah, we could even be there for like three months, so it's gonna be a lot of videos coming from Brazil. I know a lot of you guys want to see videos from Brazil, and since we're gonna be mainly in Rio, there's still gonna be a lot of Rio videos. We've done videos in Rio before, but there's literally millions of things to do still. And as Carol said, we want to go to some other states there because we also have never visited these other places. Brazil is absolutely massive, right? So yeah, a lot of Brazil videos coming up and it's gonna be cool because a lot of vloggers don't really go to Brazil. There's not that many international uh, vloggers that make videos of Brazil. So yeah, we're gonna be able to show some really awesome places, I think. So hopefully you've enjoyed all these videos throughout the Caribbean, the places that we've been. If you did, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe to like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.